Sarah installed security cameras in her paralyzed son's room. One night, while checking the footage, she saw something that made her run in desperation. Her dog, Max, was on Tony's chest, a heartbreaking scene. What was really happening? This discovery would reveal an unexpected truth and change everything. Embark on this thrilling story now. If you're already a fan of our channel and want to support us in creating more captivating content, please show your love by hitting the like button. Let's dive into the story. While washing the dishes, Sarah's eyes kept fixating on her laptop screen. She had recently installed security cameras in Tony's room, and although she knew he wouldn't wake up for another half hour, she couldn't help but check the live footage. The family dog, who was the boy's friend, was sleeping on the bed next to him, and as she watched, Sarah couldn't help but feel sorry for him too. In recent months, the situation at home had worsened. Tony's health had suddenly declined, and Max wasn't the same either. The truth was that both the dog and her little son were fighting a terrible battle, and Sarah feared they would both lose. She tried not to think about it, but her eyes kept returning to the screen, and that's when she saw something that chilled her blood. Tony was lying on his back in bed, and Max was on his chest, seeming to jump on him while the poor boy trembled in pain. Sarah let out a scream of horror. Why is the dog hurting my son? She didn't have time to ask more questions, dropped the plate and sponge, and ran to Tony's room, yelling for Max to stop what he was doing. When she entered the room, she saw the dog pushing her son's chest with his front paws while the boy thrashed violently on the bed. Her eyes filled with tears. Sarah quickly ran to the bed, pushed the dog away, and picked up Tony, hoping her son would breathe easier. But what she saw after this scene left her even more shocked. She let out a scream of pain, ran back to the kitchen to get her phone, dialed 911 quickly, and returned to Tony's room while waiting for the paramedics to arrive. She tried to provide some first aid to her poor son, but she could only think that she was about to lose him again. It wasn't the first time she feared for her son's life. A year earlier, Tony had been riding his bike around the neighborhood when a car hit him. The impact sent him flying, and he landed with a hard thud. Sarah heard the sound from her own home, which was a certain distance away. When she saw her son lying in the middle of the road, injured, bruised, and unconscious, she felt her legs give out. Help arrived quickly, and at the hospital, the doctors soon realized that the impact had broken several vertebrae. They stopped the internal bleeding, stitched him up, and did their best to restore him. But they had to tell Sarah that her beloved Tony, an eight-year-old boy, was paralyzed from the waist down and would never walk again. Sarah was devastated by the news, but at the same time, she was glad her son hadn't lost his life. The recovery process was brutal, but Tony remained positive, learning to adapt to life in a wheelchair, finding new ways to play and see the world around him. His faithful friend, the dog, was by his side the entire time. The Golden Retriever was his best friend, always there offering comfort and companionship when he needed it most. Despite the challenges they faced, Sarah, Tony, and Max created a warm and loving home, filled with laughter and love. Their house was cozy, with pictures on the walls and toys scattered everywhere. Sarah was always busy taking care of Tony and Max, making sure they were happy. But lately, things hadn't been going so well. One morning, Sarah noticed something was wrong with her son. Tony, usually full of energy and laughter, didn't have the strength to get out of bed. Sarah thought he might just be frustrated with his situation and decided to leave him alone for a while, hoping he would be back to his cheerful self the next day. However, Tony's condition didn't improve, and in the following days, he complained of constant pain all over his body, feeling painful cramps from head to toe, even in parts where he shouldn't feel anything. Sarah thought this could be good news, but when she took him to the doctor, she was told the situation wasn't improving. In fact, it was getting worse. Tony's body was now too fragile to maintain his normal growth. He would have to follow a regimen of supplements to combat muscle atrophy, and allow the upper part of his body to grow and strengthen as it should. Unfortunately, the supplements had many side effects. Tony was irritable most of the time. Simple tasks became difficult, and even his contagious laughter seemed to have disappeared into a tired silence. Sarah did everything she could to lift his spirits, reading stories and playing games, but she could see the frustration and sadness in Tony's eyes, longing for the freedom he once had. 
His once vibrant personality now seemed dimmed by the constant pain he felt. To make matters worse, a few weeks later, his beloved dog Max, his only source of happiness and fun, started showing symptoms of a mysterious illness. He was no longer the cheerful dog he had always been. Instead, he spent the day lying on his dog bed, seemed weak, and refused to eat. Worried, Sarah tried to tempt him with his favorite treats, but Max turned away, whining softly. She decided to take him to the vet, carefully placing him in the car, feeling his trembling body against hers. At the appointment, her heart raced as the vet examined Max. The diagnosis hit her like a ton of bricks. Her precious dog had a serious illness. Sarah's heart broke with the news. First her son, and now her dog? How could she take care of both? Who would cheer Tony up now that his dog also felt tired and weak? What would they do if he didn't get better soon? As she drove home with Max curled up in the back seat, Sarah couldn't avoid the feeling of terror that overcame her. Little did she know this was just the beginning of the difficult times that were about to unfold, threatening to destroy her peaceful existence. As Max's illness worsened, a heavy cloud of worry descended over the home. Sarah juggled the responsibilities of caring for her sick dog and her paralyzed son. With a heavy heart, she watched Tony's health deteriorate alongside Max's. Despite her desperate efforts to care for them, administering their medications on time, they lost interest in food and became increasingly tired. Sarah's heart ached as she saw her son and his best friend weaken each day. Their illnesses seemed to mirror each other. The tension in the family became palpable. Sarah spent sleepless nights worrying, but she remained determined to do whatever it took to keep her family together. Even with all the problems, there were still moments of joy and laughter that managed to break through the darkness. She cherished the small victories. A smile from Tony, a wag of Max's tail, as reminders of the strength and love that united them. As the days turned into weeks, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that time was running out. One night, she woke up feeling restless and decided to check on Tony. She pushed the door open, holding her breath, expecting the worst. But what she saw left her speechless. Curled up on Tony's bed was Max, gently wagging his tail while resting his head on the boy's shoulder, his eyes filled with tenderness. In that moment, Sarah's heart filled with a mixture of awe and disbelief. She had never seen Max act this way. He was usually full of energy and often interrupted Tony's sleep with his playful behavior, but now he was calm and protective. Could it be that Max knew Tony was suffering and was trying to comfort him in his own way? For years, she had witnessed the bond between Tony and Max grow stronger each day, but this display of unconditional love and friendship surpassed anything she could have imagined. It was as if Max felt Tony's pain and, despite his own suffering, took it upon himself to offer comfort and relief in the darkness of the night. As Sarah watched the scene unfold before her, a ray of hope blossomed within her, pushing away her fears and doubts. Seeing Max stay by Tony's side in silence gave her strength, reassuring her that her family was not alone in facing life's challenges. However, amidst the overwhelming emotions swirling inside her, a persistent question lingered in Sarah's mind. Why did Max leave his cozy bed to be with Tony in the middle of the night? Her son had been sick for some time, and the dog had never climbed into his bed before. Did this mean Tony's condition was worsening? Fate wanted her question to be answered quickly. As days turned into nights and nights into days, the weight of worry grew heavier on Sarah's shoulders. Tony's fragile health was in a critical state. He developed a fever that wouldn't go away or weaken. The doctors explained that he was suffering side effects from the cocktail of supplements he took daily and that things would get worse before they got better. Sarah watched helplessly as her son's once bright eyes lost their sparkle due to the constant pain racking his frail body. The simple joys of childhood were disappearing, replaced by the harsh reality of suffering. Every breath Tony took was a struggle, every sigh a reminder of how delicate life can be. The days passed with no signs of improvement in his condition. Sarah found herself grappling with a sense of hopelessness she had never known before. The fear in her heart grew with each passing hour, making it hard for her to breathe. Unfortunately, even worse news hit her at the next medical appointment. According to the doctor, Tony would soon experience the lowest point of his condition. He would improve afterward, but for a while, 
he would feel utterly and irreparably destroyed. He would be too weak to do anything on his own, and Sarah would have to watch him every second of the day. Being only one person, the only solution that came to her mind was to install a security camera in her son's room so that all his movements would be accessible at any moment. With great determination, Sarah bought and installed the camera. Watching the screen became a habit that bordered on obsession. On the night she saw her dog jumping on her son's chest, she realized she had done well to install the camera. During the incident, as the tremors subsided, Max tried to help Tony regain consciousness, performing a sort of resuscitation with his front paws, trying to save his best friend. Tears of gratitude and disbelief blurred Sarah's vision as she witnessed firsthand the depth of Max's love for her son. At that moment, she understood that Max was more than a pet. He was a guardian angel, always looking after Tony with infinite love and dedication. That day, when the paramedics arrived, they quickly stabilized the boy and praised her for calling them so fast. However, Sarah knew that Max was the true hero of that situation. Without his intuition, things could have been much worse. In the following days, Sarah found herself struggling with conflicting emotions, unsure how to process what she had witnessed. While she felt relieved that Max had saved Tony's life, she couldn't shake the lingering feeling of unease in her mind. It was during this difficult period that Sarah received a call from Emma, a friend she had lost contact with several years ago. Emma had heard about Max's illness and Tony's declining health, and even though she hadn't spoken to Sarah in years, she wanted to help and offer her support in any way she could, including traveling across the country to stay with them for a while. Grateful for Emma's presence and for having someone to talk to, Sarah opened up to her, sharing her fears and worries without reservation. Emma listened with compassion and understanding, offering words of encouragement and reassurance that lifted Sarah's spirits. However, Emma also offered something more, practical help. She introduced Sarah and Tony to Dr. Allison, a therapist specializing in helping children with disabilities. Dr. Allison was delighted with Tony. His eyes lit up with excitement as he evaluated the boy's condition and quickly developed a personalized treatment plan with fewer side effects. His optimism was contagious, and Sarah felt hopeful watching him work with her son. With Emma's constant support and Dr. Allison's expertise, Tony began a rigorous therapy process. Each session was full of challenges, but he faced them with determination and courage. As the weeks passed, Sarah noticed subtle improvements in her son's condition. His strength increased, and his spirits lifted as he progressed in therapy. With each small victory, Sarah's heart filled with pride, grateful for the dedication of the team supporting Tony. Meanwhile, Max's health also began to show signs of improvement under the care of a specialized veterinarian, also recommended by Emma. Dr. David approached Max's case with diligence and compassion, leaving no stone unturned in the search for the best way to help him recover. Through a combination of medication, therapy, and dietary adjustments, Max underwent treatment with remarkable results. His condition improved steadily, his energy returned, and his playful spirit once again brightened the home. The days when he felt tired and sick were behind him, and Max's love for life could be felt by everyone around him. The bond between Tony, Max, and Sarah only deepened through their healing journey, facing each challenge head-on, drawing strength from their unbreakable bond and the love that surrounded them. As Tony's rehabilitation continued, his progress was nothing short of miraculous. Each day, he grew stronger and more determined to regain his independence. Sarah was amazed at how much he was improving. With each step Tony took towards recovery, she felt immensely grateful to Max, Emma, Dr. Allison, and Dr. David, who supported her every step of the way. After months of grueling physical therapy sessions, Tony's hard work finally paid off. One sunny afternoon, with Max trotting beside him, he managed to sit up on his own and slightly bend his legs. It was a monumental moment of success, filled with joy and celebration. Sarah watched with tears in her eyes as her son defied all expectations. The first doctor had been right. He would feel terrible for a while, but then his body would recover, and the pain in his legs would turn into strength. But Tony's journey was far from over. He continued to push himself, determined to fully regain his mobility and independence. With Max always by his side, Tony soon managed to take his first assisted steps. It took more than two years, 
but gradually he gained strength and confidence. While running a marathon might not be possible, he hoped to one day trade his wheelchair for crutches. As he improved, his progress brought a renewed sense of hope and accomplishment to the entire family. His mobility improved, as did his desire to return to school and be with his friends. His mother had started homeschooling him after the accident, but now that he was feeling better, he longed for the companionship and fun of his classmates. Despite only being able to walk for short periods, every day he looked out the window nostalgically as the school bus picked up and dropped off his peers, wishing he could join them. Tony missed the familiar routines of the classroom, the laughter of his friends, and the sense of belonging that only school could provide. Sarah could see how much Tony wanted to go back to school, so she knew it was time to consider that possibility. One evening, while they were sitting together in the living room, Tony begged her to let him return to the place where he felt most alive. Sarah saw the determination in his eyes and knew she couldn't deny her son this opportunity to reunite with his friends and feel normal again. With a heavy heart, Sarah announced that she would enroll Tony in school again, knowing it was the right choice for his emotional well-being and growth. As they prepared for Tony's first day back at school, Max wagged his tail in approval, sensing the excitement and anticipation in the air. The Golden Retriever, now fully healed thanks to Dr. David, accompanied his best friend every step of the way. As they approached the school doors, Tony took a deep breath, his heart pounding with excitement and nerves. But as soon as he entered the school grounds, a wave of familiarity washed over him, and he felt a sense of belonging like never before. The echoes of his classmates' laughter and the vibrant energy of the school filled him with joy. Tony entered the classroom and was greeted with warm smiles and welcoming hugs from his friends and teachers. In the days and weeks that followed, he thrived at school. He felt great because of the tremendous support from his family and friends, and he felt more confident after going through therapy. Each day, he was enthusiastic about new school activities and participated in different events. Throughout it all, Max was always by his side, bringing comfort and joy. Together, they faced each new day with courage and optimism, further strengthening their unbreakable bond and indomitable spirits. They knew that as long as they had love and unity among them, they could overcome anything that came their way. How would you have reacted in Sarah's place, thinking your dog was hurting your child? Do you have a pet with such a deep connection, like in the story? Have you ever experienced a situation where a pet demonstrated an incredible level of understanding or protection? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you were touched by this story, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't miss out on another heartwarming video, which you can find on your screen right now. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update, and until the next video.